Hello boys and girls, this is Arya with Magic and Tricks. On this tutorial we are gonna talk about uh, how to edit the stairs. Okay, in the last video we are talked about uh, how to create a stairs. If you haven't watched the previous uh, video, you have a link in the upper right corner. Uh, just go and first watch that video and then go uh, to this tutorial. Now just go here to the stair and create some simple stairs. And then go to the 3D and you can see our stair. If I click here and go to the edit stair, you can see here we now can edit all elements of that stair. We have this run, we have the landing and we have the support for the stairs. In this case, assembled stair, to modify this stair, click on this support, go to the edit type and now we can here edit that uh, profile of the support. Here in dimensions uh, we have the section profile. We can put uh, here any profile what uh, we uh, want. We can create our profiles. How to create a unique profile? I'm gonna uh, talk about that on some of the next video. Now we uh, choose this uh, a C shape profile that is for a steel beam and you can see our profile I don't want that I want the flipped just go here and you can see here a flip section profile just click here and now is that profile flipped if I go here then again you can see the other functions for that. Structural depth on the run set something like 50 millimeters and for structural depth on landing go here and say something like 150 and you can see our support is now set how we want. Click OK. If I click on that support you can see uh, here a more properties for that. In the constraints we have here a lower end cut. We can't uh, edit that because we are uh, our support is joined to this support on the landing. We see here the upper end cut now is vertical cut. If I go here and say something like perpendicular you can see how our cut is now or just go here and go to the horizontal cut. If we have here some floor or some beam in this direction. For now we just go here and say vertical cut. That means if we have here uh, some floor or some wall. Now, how we can edit the threads and the razor? Click on the run, go to the edit type and you can see here the all properties for uh, the threads and the razors. Here we have the material for that, uh, that too and here we have the threads and here we have the razors. If we uncheck the threads we now have only the raises or opposite if we unchecked the razor we now only have the thread. Now uh, the thread profile is default but I want to uh, create a steel stairs so go here and uh, we have here a M stair thread and click here and now you can see this profile this steel profile for our threads and we have this steel stairs okay if I go here 
and put here some wall maybe go to 3d you can see that now i don't want want this support because i have the wall just go here go to the edit stairs and select this and this support and just go to delete now you can see we have this support and on this left side the support is our wall if we want to create a console threads just go here edit stairs delete this for this console threads i don't wanna uh, this profile just go here edit type and here in the thread profile go to the default and set thread thickness to something like i don't know 19 millimeter and you can see we have that threads if i go here you can see the our noising is now have this angle but if i set the noising length to zero you can see now that noising is uh, vertical and now we can select this and go thread material and say something like i don't know some wood oak flooring maybe i don't know and you can see we have this wood threads for now we just go back and set that for some steel metal deck okay and this it's gonna be this profile and now i must return this support just go here to the support and click on this side and go to the okay okay now i copy this here now we're gonna create a cast in the place uh, stairs if i click here and just go here and select this cast in the place stair monolithic stair now you can see we have the concrete monolithic stair go to the edit stairs click here and go to the edit type and you can see here we have the structural depth that is a depth of our construction uh, of that uh, run if we go here to the 200 you can see the thickness is uh, now 200 for that stair we have the material finishes for monolithic material for the threads and razor now we don't have the threads and razor just go and check that and now we can create some another material to thread and razor i just go here some zoom to better see and go back now what we have here we have the thread thickness i set that to 30 millimeters you can see the changes the thread profile for now it's gonna stay default I have here a noising length what is that if I uh, leave this on this place mouse you can see what is a noising length I just go here and set that for uh, 30 millimeters and you can see now uh, we have that but uh, our noising is uh, go back and we have this uh, angle if, to set that just go here to the razors and uh, uncheck the slanted razor and now you can see the, our razor is a vertical we want to create some marble stairs so go to the noising profile and select this noising radius uh, 20 millimeters and click the ok now you can see our shape of that noising click here to the ok and what we have here 
if we look this detail, uh, that isn't a good detail for a marble stair. Just go here, go to the razors, and you can see here the razor to thread connection. Just set this to extend trade under the razor. And you can see our detail is now okay. And the razor thickness we set to two centimeter. And you can see our detail. That is all okay, but you, if we uh, see here, uh, this detail is not good because I want to uh, this profile go uh, to the front of the threads, but uh, also on this side. You can see here, apply noising profile and just go here and set the front. And if we go in this direction, that is the right side and just click here. And now you can see our profile of that stairs. It's gonna be on that side. Okay, if I go here and select the landing and go to the edit type, you can see here we have the threads same as run, but we don't wanna uh, this and this edge uh, be like this. We want also there uh, to set uh, this profile. Just uncheck this and now the type of the landing can be a different. Go here and create a thread. Thread thickness is gonna be a 30. Noising is gonna be a 30. And just go here to the apply noising profile and set to front, left and right. Go to apply, okay. You can see nothing is happened because we go here, we don't set the noising profile, just go here and set that profile and now you can see everything is okay. Just go here and edit and you can see our stairs. For the better viewing, just go here, edit stairs and uh, edit material for that thread and uh, razor. Go here to the thread material and set this wood or marble or granite and something like that. Go here. Now you can see uh, this landing is not uh, replace material because we are unchecked this the same run so we must here uh, thread material to set to maybe some another material or the same and go here to the okay and now we have this second type of the stairs now I go here to copy this set here and we now create a third uh, type of the stair go here and you can see we have a precast stair uh, if i click here and go to the edit stairs you can see how the all these elements are the unique element because this element uh, is a uh, precast element. That means uh, we create them in some factory and then bring to our construction site and just put in the place. The editing for these precast stairs is the same like the cast in the place. For that we are gonna choose some, I don't know, some ceramic finish of that stairs. Just go here thread and say something like 10 millimeters or 50 and then go here to the razor and say that is also 50 and now here click this join all razor and threads and you can see we have this monolithic uh, shape of that finish material. And we can go here to edit stairs again, 
click here, go to the edit type and thread material. It's gonna be something ceramic tile. Okay, maybe. And this is also be a ceramic tile. And now you can see we have the ceramic tiles on our stairs. Okay, that's all for today. If you like this video, please subscribe. It means a lot to me to keep making videos like this. Go to the Facebook and Instagram page, follow that. If you have any questions, feel free to write me below and see you next time.